Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and the last of five CAP 101 videos. Today I will be covering the specialty caps. So there are a bunch of different specialty caps out there and I decided to just review a couple of them to show you a couple of my personal favorites. One is the calligraphy cap and the other one is the needle cap. So calligraphy caps are super cool. Um, they're very different than most other caps. So instead of having the typical dot, they actually have an insert that goes into the cap that either sprays horizontally or vertically. So you can get super thick sprays or super thin sprays with them and it's pretty cool. The calligraphy cap will go by several different names like flat jet medium cap or flat jet fat cap. Uh, that's just another name for a calligraphy cap. Uh, they're made by several different companies that call them different things, but worldwide, I believe they're just known as a calligraphy cap or a callig. So the needle cap is really cool as well and has multiple different uses. It's a very strange looking cap with this little tube that comes out of it. All right, let's see what these things do. All right, first, let's try out this calligraphy cap. So first we're gonna uh, see how wide this thing is. This is just a standard uh, Montana calligraphy cap here. So painting side to side with this cap right now, uh, you get the thicker lines and you get thinner lines when you go vertically. So you can actually get this cool calligraphy look. It's like uh, using one of those calligraphy pens or something. Mind you, I'm not a graffiti writer, so <laughs> probably not the best writing. Anyway, so if you actually uh, use some needle nose pliers, you can actually turn this little knob that comes out of the cap. So you can have the thickness in the opposite direction. You can even do it side to side, uh, however you like it, whatever you want to do. All right, let's go back over to the wall here and check it out. So you'll see the thickness comes out differently. Yeah, see, when you go up and down, it's thicker, and side to side, you get a thinner line. So let's actually see how thin we can actually get a line going side to side. Ooh, look at that line. So it's a little bit of a thicker, thin line. Um, thicker as in the paint is thicker, so it's, it could be a little drippy if you go too slow. So make sure to make some very quick, fast lines when you're using the calligraphy cap, especially if you're going um, in the thin direction. Yeah. Again, I'm not a writer. <laughs> Maybe one day. Just for demonstration. Get a little... You can get nice little halos with these, though. These calligraphy caps make a nice halo. Anyway, so now we have the needle cap. The needle cap is pretty versatile. I mean, you can use it for so many different things. Um, you can use it just to make great uh, dots in very specific areas. Just if you press really hard, you're going to get a drip. See, I got that drip there. So you can actually create drips easily this way, uh, making sure that it's in the exact right location that you want them. You can even uh, sketch out a portrait or sketch out a drawing or a painting at that uh, if you'd like to so you can get a good sketch going on but see how it's nice and drippy because it comes out very fast so if you're going to be sketching with it just sketch quickly so sketching this little box here and you can also use it for splattering so you can get a nice localized splatter look if you kind of go further from the wall it's kind of fun there and then, you know, adding some splatters, sometimes adding some drips to your painting can look really cool. So if you do it a lot in one spot, like you go close to the wall, oh yeah, nice little drips there. Can make it look really cool. So get that nice little drippy effect. If you go really slow sketching with these, you can get some really drippy letters. That can look super awesome drips are the way you're looking for. This is the cap to use. So this video is actually the fifth of a series of five videos. So if you missed any of those, the first video, I have a link right here for the super skinny cap. So to sum up all of the videos, we had so many videos explaining so many different kinds of caps. I didn't explain all of the caps because that would literally take me forever. I showed you all of my favorite caps within each category, so I really hope that you learned something from that. So just to review all of the cap categories, we had super skinny caps, skinny caps, medium caps, fat caps, and specialty caps. This is not my final video for the rest of the year though. I have plenty more videos coming up. They're all scheduled for the rest of 2022. So please hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop my next video. 
you guys have any questions for me, please feel free to put those in the comments. And if you're practicing and you want to show me what you're working on, or if you have any questions about what you're working on, feel free to DM me on Instagram. Send me some photos. I think that'd be awesome. I will help you as soon as I can and respond as soon as I can. But as you know, I'm a full-time mural artist and I'm constantly kind of running around doing things, but I'll get to you as soon as I can. I really do want to help guys. I want to help you skip all that trial and error that I had to go through when I taught myself how to spray paint. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got a little something out of it. Now, as always, remember to stay peaceful as a calm mind is a creative mind. Now go get inspired, be an influence, and make something beautiful today. Peace. So here's a fun little addition for those of you still watching. The needle cap, the needle actually comes out. You can actually pluck this thing out and you can actually use this for certain things. And I'm gonna have another video just about that. Uh, so be sure to hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Anyway, I hope to see you soon.